Right, hello, good morning. Um, this is Phil, and look, today, um, this is the neighbour's lawn that I um, have the pleasure of playing with, let's say. Just a small little bit of lawn. I reckon it's around about, uh, how big do I reckon that is? I reckon that's eight by, it's about 80 square metres, I reckon. Perfect size lawn. A few little weeds in there. Um, look, so what we're gonna do, so just a quick run through about it looking at a lawn and looking at it, working out its condition really. So if you look at this lawn um, from, let's have a look from this angle, right? This is one of the most important things you can do with lawns is look at things from a distance because you can spot the overall inconsistencies. Now, looking right to left, that section down there is really, really happy because there's loads of moisture. It's actually pretty much in the shade all day but it's very happy I fed this lawn about two weeks ago by the way uh, and it's had its second feed this season so things should start to be pick up but what we've got is just in front of me there obviously there's a leaf but there's also a bit of ground let's have a close look that is not growing very well and I put money on it that basically that's got builders rubble behind it now if you look across the lawn if we look at that section there it's darker and then if we look at that second section there it's lighter on the back and the chances are that there's good soil in the middle and there's crap around the outside we know that for a fact um, look over there there's another bit of inconsistent growth and that's going to be builders rubble as well but if we look across the lawn you can see that it's pretty much in good nick now a few of you have asked about clover there's a little bit of clover now the thing the good thing about clover is if you let it run, it will run. But all I'm gonna do with this is just clip it tight and we'll keep it under control. And then what we've got is a few weeds creeping in, dandelions mainly, um, and that's coming from the, uh, over the hedge, there's actually a bit, of, a bit of land that isn't owned by anyone and it's full of dandelions. So that's just blowing, blowing in. Anyway, look, what we're going to do now, um, as you can see, there's a stripe in from, actually that was a week ago or so. Um, I'm going to basically cut this lawn uh, in around about six minutes, uh, and I'm going to do it one-handed. The one-handed cut, man, while I hold the screen. Um, so down here, Hater 48 Pro, thing of beauty. What we're going to do is we're going to set it on set it on four and that should give it a pretty good cut not too short not too long right let's just get to start right now look from yesterday that you can't actually hear me very well when I cut the lawn so what I'm going to do is just basically tell you why why I'm doing certain things away from the lower so you can hear me the cut but the reason why I cut it diagonally is largely because it's to cut. If you cut it in stripes obviously you've got much more turns but by cutting it di diagonally we're actually going to reduce the amount of cuts by or the amount of turns. You lose time in the turns. Uh, we'll reduce the turns by about four. Not a lot but that will help. Right okay so Take the choke off, start the blades up gently, and then I'll stop talking because you're going to lose me. Already.
fair run, so I reckon if I was to cut that on a five, which I'm going to do, just make things slightly easier and a better cut. Now what that means is I have to, yeah, what I have to do is increase the cut frequency to get a better look. But you could hear a difference in the engine, it's a different load on the engine, so therefore the, it's kind of cutting less of the grass density, keeping the blade speed up, and it'll get a better cut. So over the years, I've obviously uh, had haters for years, and actually you might say, oh, he does throw it around, doesn't he? Now, the one thing I can tell you,
there you go. <clears throat> so that is uh, it's looking all right, isn't it? Loads of inconsistencies to work on, but um, we'll work on them, I reckon. Um, Anyway, that's it. See you. Ta-da.